What's up everybody? This is Tony with Alternative Living Spaces where we convert shipping containers into luxury homes. On today's episode, we're going to be addressing the three myths of building your own shipping container home. The purpose of this episode is to inform you, to educate you, and to equip you as you go on the journey of either building your own home or contracting someone out to build your container home. Let's dive right in. Myth number one is that container homes are cheap. Now, most of our clients are really in two categories. It's either people that are interested in a single container conversion or people that want a custom home built out of multiple containers combined. A misconception that's out there is that container homes are cheaper than traditional stick-built housing. Uh, this isn't the case. Uh, container homes uh, do end up being in the higher end price range. So by the time you get a container, you modify it, you want to stack them and do all these things, there's a lot of additional engineering, additional site prep, foundation work, uh, and just extra work in general that's associated with that that makes the price range in the area of around $250 to $350 per square foot. That's a rough estimate, but it ends up being more expensive than if you had done a standard traditional stick-built home or buy a track home that was already built. Uh, now, while they are more expensive, I would argue that a container home is also more unique than a standard home. You know, I think it has that wow factor. It's going to turn heads. People really like the way it looks. And the benefit of a container home is that it's extremely durable. Uh, on the topic of affordability, if you're looking to do a single container conversion, you know, get a 20 foot container or a 40 foot container and convert it into a house, uh, the price range can vary. And really this depends more than anything on where you're located. So if your county is pretty relaxed on their regulations and on their zoning, uh, you could potentially build a container home in your backyard for $100 a square foot. If however you live in an area where there is a lot of regulation, they're gonna require you to submit engineering, architectural drawings, um, you know, pour your foundation and, and do everything per code, it will be more expensive and you'll be looking at probably around 300 to 400 dollars a square foot for something that's a small space like a 20 foot or a 40 foot container uh, so price range definitely varies if you do it by yourself as a diy project obviously you're going to save a lot of money um, a little bit of general information on pricing if you're building a 20 foot shipping container material cost alone you're probably looking at about ten thousand to twelve thousand um, dollars you know for me i remember when i built my first container home I actually built it in my parents' backyard. I found a container on Craigslist. It was already partially built out. Person was actually building it out for a restaurant. And so he was gonna use it at a convention here in town. He had windows already cut out in it. It was already reinforced. And so I purchased that for about $4,000, brought it to my parents' house, put it on their driveway, and little did I know that uh, I would have dropped probably another $10,000 into the unit. You know, So I remember at the time I was working you know, multiple jobs, and I would uh, kind of hustle during the week, save up some money, and then, you know, if I made an extra 500 bucks that week, it'd go into materials where I would, you know, build out the unit on the weekend. So you can build it for an affordable price, but that also entails you probably doing a lot of the labor. Um, and so that is myth number one. The container homes are cheap. Uh, they can be affordable, but if you're going custom, it's probably gonna be a little bit more on the pricier side. Myth number two is that it's easier to build a shipping container home than it is any other type of construction. Now, I think the reason that this is the case is that the container already kind of functions as the structure of the home. And so there is this misconception that, hey, this is gonna be a pretty simple, pretty easy process. Uh, while I don't think you have to be an expert by any means to build a container home, uh, it also isn't easy. I think you know one of the key things if you're looking to build your container home is to continue to watch YouTube videos like this and others that are showing you how they build their container homes. Uh, one of our guys, he's been with us for about three years now. He has about 30 plus years of construction experience. Uh, he's built a bunch of homes on the East Coast, here on the West Coast. Uh, still to this day, he, he continually reminds me that, man, container homes are a whole different beast. Uh, when he first got into it, he thought it was gonna be a very simple, easy process. Uh, that dealing with containers would be easier than traditional housing. And for him, he found out that it was more challenging. Uh, you know, for me, I remember when I was building that first container home, um, I didn't have a lot of construction experience. My dad's been in the construction industry for a long time, and uh, he really was more or less a coach during that season. 
uh, showing me how to build it out. And I remember just, you know, at least three or four times coming across key parts of the build that had I not had maybe the expertise of someone that had the knowledge in that area, um, you know, I, I could have easily made a wrong turn. And so if you're looking to build your own container home, it's certainly doable. I would encourage you to do so. That's what I did when I started. And uh, I would just also recommend that you take the time to acquire the right knowledge. Uh, just a few brief things that come to mind in, in thinking about building your own container home that you wanna be aware of. Uh, a few, you know, probably three quick things would be number one, uh, the flooring. So a lot of the containers that come in overseas, they may have been sprayed uh, to avoid any kind of insects or animals being in the container. Uh, you're gonna need to make sure you seal your floors properly. Uh, this can be done with an epoxy. Uh, you can actually decide to insulate your floors by putting a layer of spray foam on the ground. So there are some different options here, but you're gonna wanna make sure you seal your floor as well. Second, when it comes to your cutouts, you're cutting out your doors and your windows, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that those are reinforced properly. Now there's different methods of doing that. Uh, some people recommend using steel. Others recommend using wood. Um, really, you can do either. We've chosen to go the steel route. Uh, we've uh, done both. You know, we did wood framing for the windows, and at least where we're at in Vegas, we would notice the wood would shrink. And so the top of the wood would shrink. We'd have gaps in the top of the windows. Water would come in. Uh, so we just stick with steel. Uh, probably the simplest approach is uh, two by two steel. And you may say, hey, Tony, I'm not a welder. I don't even know how to weld these frames in. Um, I'm not a welder either, and so I would just simply recommend contacting someone locally in your area. Um, and you're probably looking for a price range of about $15 to $19 a linear foot. That's for them to do the cutouts for your doors and windows, and then to install the reinforced steel in those cutouts as well. And then the final area you're gonna wanna, you know, just be wise about is how you ground your unit. So uh, once you get your unit on your property, uh, you're going to connect it to your electrical uh, that's on site. Make sure it is grounded properly at a grounding rod. Um, this is, these are just three small areas that, you know, we would recommend to take some caution in. Um, and I'll throw a bonus one in there as well because it's important is condensation. You know, early on, uh, we weren't aware of this reality that, hey, on the inside of the container, it's going to sweat. It's going to produce condensation. So if you are in a, in a cold climate and you're pumping your heater on the inside of the unit, it's actually going to start sweating. And so if you have wood framing and bat foam insulation and no vapor barrier, uh, it's gonna actually now affect your wood framing. It could affect your drywall or whatever interior wall finish you have and really can lead to some mold issues or different things like that. To prevent that, we recommend using spray foam insulation. The product that we've been using is InsoFast and even using you know metal studs for the framing on the inside as well. So we're gonna get into a lot more of this information in upcoming videos but just wanted to give you a little bit of a preview and just encourage you that, hey, you know, there's a myth out there that when you go to build a container home, uh, it's real simple. You don't need to do your research. Uh, learn from people that have already made mistakes and have learned the hard way so that you don't have to. Uh, so container homes can be easy with the research. Myth number three is that it's quick and fast to build your container home. Now, a lot of this will depend on your skill level. If you've got 30 years of construction experience, you're gonna be building this a lot faster than someone with one year of construction experience. It's also gonna depend on how big of a unit are you doing? Are you converting a single 20 foot container or is this a custom home that's going through permitting and plans, engineering, and is gonna be five containers combined? You know, just real quickly, if you're looking the custom route and you're thinking of doing multiple containers combined, uh, man, I would budget six months to a year. You know, it's gonna take some time to do your architectural drawings, your engineering, uh, to go through permitting, to do all your site work, to find the right contractor to use. Um, you know, it can take time. If you're doing a single container conversion, uh, you can do it a lot quicker. You know, my first build that I did, I did it while working two other jobs and I would work on it on a Saturday and my dad would help me out sometimes or I'd bring in a friend to help me out. And it took me nine months. You know, it took me nine months to build out a 20 foot shipping container um, it was, you know, we built out all the custom furniture on the inside. It was done to, you know, a high level of quality, uh, but it took a long time. Uh, if you have more time on your hands, you know, it's something you may be able to do in 30 days or 60 days. You know, traditionally when we're building at our production facility, it's two guys, four weeks to build out a 20 foot container home. So, you know, using those numbers, you're looking at about 300 hours total. So, I mean, you can go super hard and get it done in 30 days. Um, or like myself, it could be something that do over a period of, you know, nine months to a year.
Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick recap of the three myths of building your container home. Myth number one is that building a container home is cheap. Myth number two was that building a container home is easy. And myth number three was that building a container home is quick and fast. You know, the, the importance of knowing this information is not to dissuade you from building a container home, but it's to educate you on the process as you approach building your own home. You know, I, I, my experience has been that building a container home or container homes has been, you know, very, very rewarding. Uh, it's been a process that I've been very proud to be a part of. You know, I remember during my first home, you know, I'd be posting new pictures on social media and my friends would comment on it. Um, I would learn so much through that process. And so I would certainly encourage you to take it on. It's an awesome journey. You're gonna learn a lot. And in the next several months and even in the next several weeks, we really wanna provide more information to you on a step-by-step -step process of how to build container homes. Um, there's a lot of great content already on YouTube. I'd encourage you to check out what other people are already posting, uh, but we're gonna do our part as well. And so we're providing more content on how we build our container homes uh, to help you during that process. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button below. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one.